There was just a very strange energy when you walked in here. You know, when we came through, it had that vibe to it when we were unloading our stuff, so. Are you standing next to that shelf over there? Blood. Hello? Hospital. Hospital. Dude, where were we at earlier? Do you live here alone? Always have. Can you try and make it go off again by, by yourself? Can you do it? <gasps> Dude. Rituals. Rituals. So we're rolling on the ghost tube right now. Dave, we actually didn't mean to film anything right here inside of this. No. Inside of this, inside of this building. We're just staying here. We're, we're filming an investigation tomorrow night, which will be uploaded next week. But we got here and we're unloading all of our stuff into this little rental property where we're staying for two nights. And there was just a very strange energy when you walked in here. Yeah, absolutely. I would say this area we're standing right now and then the area where you set your personal stuff in uh, in that first bedroom there have been quite interesting so far. Yeah, and this is also gonna be an interesting experiment. We've seen people in the comments saying that they think that we should go into an investigation not knowing any of the history. We know nothing about this building except for the fact that it's old and there's a creepy energy to it and that's it. Right. And we're gonna do a little bit of investigating here tonight to see what actually we can capture. And then maybe if we do some research into the history later, into the history of the property or the area, we may come up with something relevant to something that happened here, so. Yeah, absolutely. And it's already proving to be interesting because we were just like you, you know, we had just said we were walking out there to get ready to walk in the door and we couldn't figure out how to get out of the door. And uh, it called you a fool. Ah, oops, it was already unlocked. <laughs> it was already unlocked. Ah, no. <laughs> fool. It said fool. I thought it said Phil. It said fool. Here I am trying to figure out, like we just got the camera set up here and we're getting ready to like start a walkthrough. And I was trying to unlock this door to open it up. And it called me a fool because I couldn't open the door. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> and the weird thing is, is that you wouldn't expect it to have a strange vibe because it's set up in a very welcoming way. I mean, as soon as you walk in through the door, there's these table games and darts and stuff for people to play. Yeah, yeah, it's a super, super nice place. It just, you know, when we came through, it had that vibe to it when we were unloading our stuff. So, when in Rome. Yeah. You know? We might as well see what we can capture here a little bit this evening since we have the evening off. Yeah. Since we're not investigating until tomorrow night. Yeah, you know, we have the evening off, so. We'll give ourselves something to do this evening. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> if there is anyone here, my name is Ryan and this is Dave. And we are here to try and speak to you. We kind of felt like there might be someone else here that was present in this, in this property. And if you could this evening as we're here, you're more than welcome to come out and make yourself known, to show us that you're here and to tell your story. And we'll listen. So to your left there is the first bedroom and that's... Keep going. <gasps> Keep going. That's cool. Which way do you want us to go? Do you want us to come into the, into the bedroom like Dave was talking about? Or what about down down the hall in the kitchen? Can you s s tell us which one? Do you want us to go to the left or go straight? 
Which way would you like us to go? Or where would you like us to go? Okay, well, let's just take a peek in here. Yeah, this right here is the, is this bedroom here gives me a little bit of vibes just from the short amount of time that we have been in here. Uh, I don't know what it is though. Do you feel it? Yeah, it definitely feels very odd and it's kind of strange to say, but that's why I decided to put my personal stuff down in here because I wanted this bedroom because when I walked in here, there was something about it that just drew me to it. Right. And uh, being that we have been investigating the paranormal for so long, sometimes when you come across an energy, it's not always a bad thing. You don't want to get away from it. It's like, it's almost like we want to be around it. Oh yeah. So, yeah. That's why I chose this and maybe this- Blacksmith. Might blacksmith hmm. were you a blacksmith but this might be an area where we want to do an estes method spirit box session later yeah absolutely okay so this takes us into the kitchen very beautifully renovated though oh yeah this is typical new york style apartment here yeah also a little bit strange in here. Yeah. But funny that the areas, funny enough, the areas where we felt the energy was are the only areas where voices have come through the ghost tube. That is true. It's not said anything in the kitchen, in the dining room, or in this bedroom as of yet. Yeah, that's a good point. You can hear they're having a <laughs> Memorial Day party right out there, but uh, that's why we're gonna wait until a little bit later to start investigating. But yes. That outside? I'm not sure. It kind of sounded like it was right in here on the table. Yeah, that's what I thought. Like it was in there with the darts on the foosball. Is that outside? I'm not sure. Well, if there is somebody in here with us, we're going to be spending the night here. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, that's creepy. That is creepy. So you're gonna have uh, you're gonna have a couple new people to talk to, and uh, we'll be here for a couple of nights. And we have all kinds of equipment like this, and like what's in his hand there to communicate with you. So come out and talk to us a little bit later. Doomed. What is it? Doomed. Well, that's a little well, unnerving. Yeah, that's not a good sign. <laughs> we'll be back here in a little bit when things quiet down and the sun goes down so that when you talk, we know that it's you. And if you feel like coming out and talking to us, we'd greatly appreciate it. We just got back here. We don't even have our microphones on yet. Just set up the paranormal music box. Hello? If you're here, could you step this direction over towards me so that the music stops playing? Well, that was weird. Thank you. We see you already found a toy that you like. We're gonna leave it there for you. That's crazy. <laughs> so we are officially back here inside this house. The walkthrough, we got some creepy voices and relevant voices that came through the ghost tube. And now as soon as we got started, I mean immediately, the paranormal music box started playing and now it's been silent ever since and we didn't even reset it. Mm -mm. Sometimes when it starts going off, it won't stop and we have to reset it. This time it just stopped all on its own right after I asked it. 
to step towards me and away from the actual box. So but we're back. We're going to get this investigation started with. We just came back from eating dinner at a place called the Anchor Bar, which shout out to them. When we ate there, they actually gave us these hats. It's the bar that invented the original buffalo wing. So if you're ever in Buffalo, New York, you want an authentic buffalo wing, the Anchor Bar is where you got to go. That's where the original wing was invented. The original buffalo wing was invented. So go check them out. Oh, yeah. We're having some technical difficulties with the Vox, so we're gonna go back to the normal ghost tube, see if anything comes through there, and then we'll get the, we'll sort out the issues with the Vox here soon. Yeah. Maybe do an Estes session here in a little bit. Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Why are you uncomfortable? We're here to speak to you if there's anyone here. What is that? I don't know. Sound like <laughs> like whistling or something. But like someone who didn't scream. Know. Scream. That's kind of weird. Yeah. How many? It said scream. And as soon as it said scream, people that live in the same building but in a different unit went upstairs arguing. You could hear them cussing at each other. When those people fight, does it feed you? Let's sneak over here. Yeah. Purgatory. Purgatory? Why am I here? Whoa. And there we go. Is that you? Can you say yes or no? We're not exactly sure why you are still here, but you are dead. We were kind of hoping that you could tell us why you were still here. This is just the beginning. We've got multiple little devices and toys and boxes that you can use to speak to us. And over the next few hours, we're going to be pulling more and more out for you to use to tell your story. And we would definitely love it if you would come out and speak to us. Talk with me. Whoa. Yes, that's what we would love to do. What's your name? Thank you. It's not me. I'm nowhere near. 37. 37? Were you 37 when you passed away? Can you make this light up if that's... The case? Were you 37? Can you step right in front of that? So the music plays like you did earlier? So we know that that's you? 
Oh, man. Whoa. Blacksmith. Dude, that's the second time. Yeah, it said blacksmith earlier today. Yeah. When did. we did the walkthrough, it said blacksmith. It did. Yeah. That's why I chose this, and maybe this Blacksmith. Might... Blacksmith. Just to give everyone an idea, with the ghost tube uses the magnetometer within the device, which picks up on magnetic fields that actually is used normally by the compass to determine magnetic north. And ghost tube uses the magnetometer to pick up on these fluctuations in magnetic fields, and then there's a dictionary. They call it a ghost dictionary, but there are different words assigned to different readings of magnetic fields and fluctuations and things, and those words are chosen from the dictionary depending on the different readings of magnetic fields. So it's interesting to see that in the same area, the same word came through twice. We don't know what it means yet, but- Crazy. It is pretty crazy. <laughs> Yeah, if you, if, if you had no idea hospital. what... Hospital. Hospital? Dude, where were we at earlier? At a hospital. We were at an insane asylum. Yeah. And we came back here afterwards. Did you follow us here from... Olmstead? Did you follow us from the hospital? Restless. Dude. It's like picking up now. Yeah. Word after word after word when it was quiet. It was pretty quiet for a little while there. Now it's constantly word after word after word. Yeah. And when we got back here from eating, mm -hmm. we walked through back towards the kitchen to put some groceries away. And it was creepy in here. It was very, very creepy in here. Yeah. Where did you go? I want to head back into the kitchen with the ghost tube. Yeah. And then we can see. I want to. <laughs> no way. All right, let's go to the kitchen then. Let's walk back to the kitchen. You can still play with this stuff. While, if you want to talk to us through that, you're more than welcome to follow us. But you can still play with this stuff while we're in the kitchen. We'll yeah. still see it. We set up all of this stuff for you, Wait. so... Do you smell that? I don't smell anything, but I heard two knocking sounds. That's kind of weird. I got a big whiff of cigarette smoking right now. I'm kind of lightheaded. Really? This is a non-smoking building too. It says right on the front door, no smoking. And I, right here, I got a huge whiff of cigarettes and then I started to get lightheaded. Did you enjoy your cigarettes? Okay, we're going now, so. If you're following us, make that music go off again. Or you can make that little red light in the hallway go off. That's a fun one. You haven't tried it yet. I'm just going to set this right here. What was that? I don't know, but that little... Did that little light just come on? That little light has been on. What was that noise? I don't know. It was a loud like movement, like something moved in this kitchen right here. It was like a like a finger snap or clicking. Yeah, like I'm just going to set this right here. What was that? What was that? Have you heard the music box go off or anything? No. Now how weird is that? The music box stopped. The ghost tube stopped. And then we heard that noise. Yeah. I think there's something with that front room out there. Yeah. The front room and then that be that front bedroom. Which, to be fair, when we got here earlier, those are the ones we felt the energy in. Yeah. Coming to get me. As soon as we came back up here. I think you're a little more intelligent. Was that you? I don't, I don't know. Here, take a step back.
Was that you? Yeah. I don't know. It just It's like there's something with this area and that bedroom. Right. So when we do this Estes session, the person that's listening should sit in the bedroom with headphones listening to the spirit box. Yes. Whoever's asking should be in here, I think. On the couch. Agreed. No. No, we're not even started yet, sir or ma'am. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. So we're here to speak with you tonight. Again, my name is Dave. My friend Ryan is in the bedroom in there. And he has on headphones. Here. Here. So you are here. Where is the person who was making the music go off? Terrified. Terrified. It's a woman's voice. Well, you don't have to be terrified of us. We're not here to hurt you. Are you the woman who spoke earlier? Yeah. Wow. Okay, thank you. I switched sweeps. There was a lot of... It was hard to hear on that one. Ma'am, did you pass away here in this apartment? If you did, or didn't, can you tell Ryan through his headphones? Hallway. Hallway. Was that your bedroom right there where Ryan is? Was that your bedroom? Something about don't want or don't need help. If you could go in there to Ryan or whoever is here and let him know how many fingers I'm holding up. Playboy. Playboy. No. All night, All night here. Yes, we will be here all night. His blood? He's back. He's back. Are we dead to you? Are we ghosts in your house? Something about a light? Or this light? Do you live here alone? Always have. Always have. Oh, that's, that's interesting. You always have. How many years did you live here? Or how long have you lived here? Himself. Himself. And I'd love you to come in here and sit down on the couch beside me. Can you do that? In pain? Because I would love to have a conversation with you. Can you come sit on the couch beside me? 15. Can you tell Ryan Olivia. what your name is, please? Olivia. Olivia? Your name is Olivia? Well, it is nice to meet you, ma'am. Blood. Blood. Olivia, was this your apartment? I love you. I love you. 
was a woman's voice. Olivia. Olivia. Second time, same man's voice said Olivia. Wow. Do you have the option after death to be at rest? Or to roam? I've always wondered that. He's done. Which is weird, because I was reaching for the spirit box to turn it off. That is very weird. That was interesting. Was it? So, yeah, some of it was. Anything relevant? Well, I had asked, uh, what is your name? And you immediately said Olivia. Yeah, it said Olivia twice. Same man's voice said Olivia. Can you tell Ryan Olivia? what your name is, please? Olivia. And then I said something about living here, and you said by yourself or alone or something like that. Do you live here alone? Always have. Always have. Oh, that's, that's interesting. Well, what was weird is as I was sitting here on the bed, I kept getting this overwhelming feeling like someone was going to come from the side of me and stab me in the neck. Really? Yeah, which is very weird because it was like, I kept getting this sensation, like this strange, which is not something you generally think about, but like, as I was sitting there with the blindfold on listening to the sweep, I kept just feeling like I was, that I should be afraid that there was someone that was going to stab me in the neck from the right side. That's very strange. I don't know what it meant or if it was just my imagination running wild, but... You also kept saying blood. Yes. I heard it twice, I think. His blood? Blood. Very bizarre. Hmm. Ugh. So we're gonna do one last session here to close out the night. And then we're gonna start charging batteries focusing on getting ready for tomorrow night's investigation, which you will get to see next week, so stay tuned for that. We flip-flopped the apartment. The equipment is now in the back with the kitchen, the back bedroom, and the dining room. We're starting out out here on the front, but we're gonna move back there into that area and see what we can capture. If you're if you're in the back over there, or if you're in this apartment and you can hear my voice, we moved the stuff that you were playing with earlier back there. Can you show us that you're here? By touching one of those lights or pushing something over? Was there someone in this area who got hurt? Did someone attack them? Did someone attack you? Are you standing next to that shelf over there? I see you're making it hotter. Can you make it colder now? If you make it colder, the blue light will light up. There's a bright red light in that bedroom in there. Can you try and touch that? It'll make a bunch of pretty colors if you do. We're going to be staying here for a couple of days. And we hope that you will be comfortable with us being here. 
Are you okay with that? If you are, can you set off one of these boxes? Set off one of these alarms? Where did you go? Somebody was in here earlier talking to us. Using these devices. The music maker is in the kitchen in there if you want to go try that one. It was a very interesting surprise to... Temperature. Yeah. Whoa, EDI. Okay. I was t dropping temperature and air pressure and all sorts of changes there on that EDI plus. Yeah, that's the first time it's going off all night. Strange that those both happened at the same time. Yeah. Can you, can you do that one more time? Okay, now you, you, I can see you making that one go off. That's me. Yeah. You heard that music, didn't you, just now? You heard that music, didn't you, just now? You heard that music, didn't you, just now? If you were able to hear that music, can you try and make it go off again by, by yourself? Can you do it? <gasps> Dude, thank you so much, EDI. What the f***, man, that was nuts. That was. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> we don't mean to get too excited. This is just really cool for us. Thank you. Wow. That was really cool. Yeah. Thank you for coming back and doing that again. Someone standing in the doorway where I just walked through. That's why that is going off there. Here we go. I don't know if anyone's ever actually told you. Whoa. Did you just follow me in here? It's the second time it's done that. When I came through here, it did that. Yeah. And it's not the residual coming through because there's a significant amount of time where it stops alarming and then it starts again. But I don't know if anyone's ever told you how a paranormal music box works, but it uses actually an infrared laser which detects changes in temperature. A lot of people think it's just a motion sensor, it's not. It actually has to calibrate itself because it's actually determining what the base temperature is. And then when anything with a different temperature signal passes in front of that laser, it causes the music to start playing. So for example, my body is much warmer than what the ambient temperature in the room is. So when I step in between and my body heat breaks that, temp that infrared beam, It causes the music box to alarm. It's the same thing. They believe spirits are made up of energy that can fluctuate in temperature. And if these cold spots that we feel or these increases in temperature cross in front of that beam, it'll go off and we consider that an anomaly. That's pretty cool that that happened right on command. Yeah. And you'll notice that after Ryan just went and showed you what it did, after he stepped away, it did not continue to do it. Right. So whoever made that go off, there's a bright red light in there on the bed. Can you try that one next? <clears throat> That's me. You know what's also very strange about that? What? Is all of the activity that was happening 
uh, with the EDI right before that happened. Yeah. It was so, like a sudden buildup and another burst of energy. Yeah. Coming through. As I'd said, we're gonna be staying here for a few days, for a couple of days. And if you wanna come out and talk to us, you're more than welcome to, but if you wanna send us a message that we can physically hear and capture, now's the time to do it. It's like it's subsided again. Yeah. It seems as though all the responses and interaction have stopped. So we think this is the end. But we have no idea that someone or something is going to follow us to our investigation tomorrow night at the Iron Island Museum. Olivia. Dude, no way. Did you follow us here from our hotel? Are you actually a little girl? Yes, same little girl. That was absolutely crazy. <laughs> and what we're going to do is get ready for tomorrow's investigation. It's one that you're not going to want to miss whenever we upload that next week. But for right now, everyone, if you are not yet subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you don't miss a video. We have some amazing haunted locations, amazing haunted adventures coming up on this paranormal quest, and we want to bring you along for the ride. If you'd like to support the channel in an additional way, we also have a Patreon page or you can become a member of the channel. But also be sure to hit that like button to show your support and share this video with your friends and family. And until next time, everyone stay safe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>